I yeah, used to really? loved it. Oh no, 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 God. but are we talking about the same Moe's is the question. Moe's Southwest Cantina? He's, he's no. trying to pretend Chipotle he before. No, 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 I, but no. there's another Mr. Moe's. Oh, so you're I met Mr. Moe's in the grove. Talking about moose juice, Moe's. Why, why are you getting mad? Why, why does he yeah, do that? Why are you doing that? <laughs> That's a totally normal yeah. thing. Did you go it's to been, Moe's? If you live yes, down I here, it's a normal thing. It's not a normal thing. I said, welcome to Moe's right before, which is what they'd say. Exactly. Yeah, Yes, I've been to Moe's. What's the Moe's in the grove? Mr. Moe's. Mr. Mr. Mo's. But welcome to Mystery Crate, not Mr. Moe's. Ah, welcome to Mystery uh, Crate. It was a wild place. It was. Moose juice. Yeah. Moose What's juice. Moose juice. It was like Who this, knows? <laughs> it was like this fruit punch with rum mixed in it, with rum and then also topped with a 151. Yeah, it was floater. it was a lot of alcohol for very cheap. Yeah. And, and they're like five where, bucks, wait, right? Where was it? What's there now? In the Grove. It's there's nothing there now. You know in the Grove when you're walking up and down where there's the place that kinda of looks like a log cabin? Here, here, here's 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 a, a place. Lot? Here's a streets. If you're walking you're at Green okay. Street. You it's, know where Green down, Street is? it's down the street yes, from Green Street. Yeah, you course. take a, you're walking towards the Grove. You take a left, right where Green Street is. You walk down. Yeah, there's a place that looks like a Bass Pro Shops on the right. That's where Mr. Mose was. I don't think I know it. Because it's all Bass covered. Pro it's all covered now. I don't think that was a good description. It's just no. a lot. Because it was a lot of wood. Is it? Is, you know okay, I mean? so you know when you're on Grand Ave. Yeah. Okay, and I'm then turning. locale, locale is right in the corner. Yes. Okay, so if you go to the other side of the street, Green Street. Green Street's no, on the on the opposite side. We're not side. turning down. If you hit Green Street, you've gone too far. Oh. No, no, no. Let's say we're in locale. Okay. Right? Yes. You you cross the street on foot to the Italian place. I think it's like Fratinelli yes, 1857 yes, yes. or whatever. Yes. If you walk down six businesses to your left-hand side, okay. that's what comes up. It looks like that. Yeah, I was, oh. was going to send you a picture right now. Wow, yeah. okay. It doesn't have now a sign it's all or anything black, now. So yeah, it's painted just, it all black. Yeah. Yeah. But it was wood. It looked like a log cabin. I don't know if I've ever noticed yeah. it before. It was, it, know. You could walk past it because now it's like it's yeah. nothing. I yeah. also I also think it closed before you were even in Miami. No, yeah, for way, sure. Yeah. Way, way, like yeah, five yeah. years before you were here. No, you way, just see way like the facade that. of it. When did it close? What year are we? God, we, about? it must be like two thousand. I think like pre no, no, pre no. President Trump, like twenty fifteen, twenty fourteen, maybe. Uh, yeah, fourteen. I hadn't I hadn't been there years before that. No, nah, so, so I started going out like legally. I was able to go out in like 2012. I was able to like actually get a, an alcoholic beverage. Mm. No, no, I, and we okay. were still going to Mr. Moe's at that time. 20, 2020, 2021, 2022 blurs. Complete blur. Like, a buddy of mine, a I buddy blinked mine, and they were gone. Like we're already going to be four years removed from COVID. Yeah, That's if crazy. COVID were a, a person, it would be four years going old. into like kindergarten. Yeah. Now. yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing that has kind of like messed up my brain when I'm watching sports is that. When you read a statistic that's like this hasn't happened since 2018, I'm like, holy crap! That's so long that's ago. Five, almost like six seasons Years ago. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like it. When I'm like, oh, 2018, so it's not that long. And then I'm like, <gasps> that was like 70 games ago. So long ago, it's my so buddy, long ago. my buddy Kevin, the one that I went to Brooklyn and he fell asleep and I was knocking on the door and he didn't answer and all that. He does this thing where he's like, COVID doesn't exist. So like the year... A lot of people do. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Like, hold on. That was very popular. For a that was the very popular, popular take in 2020. Very popular. My bad. Let me, let, me re, let me rephrase that. <laughs> so he said the year of COVID, I didn't have a birthday. So like my mm. birthday doesn't exist. So he, what he says, he's really 32, but he tells people he's 31. So he's always a year dude, younger. I'm doing that. Like I'm 25 right now. I'm like. There's no way. <laughs> you're I, like 30, dude. I, no, I'm not. I peaked. I'm 25. I peaked you're during not, COVID. Like yeah, I'm 32. Like so. mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, like I lived my peaked during best COVID of my age, and now it's I'm just going to steadily decline until I die, and right. I don't want to. I don't want to accept that. Like I couldn't do anything that like two, a year and a half. Hmm. Huh. So I'm just going to keep living that year out. So you say that you're 25, forever. clearly not being 25. Well, I don't know about What is that clearly. supposed to mean? I feel like I wasted my COVID time. What? Yeah, like people were learning new things. They were, oh, you I know, all this stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know what I did? Nothing. I went to work. I, I know what you did a lot watched of. Watched a lot of TV. Oh. What, is that, oh, what? what does that even mean? I don't know what that means. The last post on... Oh, yeah, the, what, do you, what do you mean by that? The last post on the Mr. <laughs> Moe's Instagram really account <laughs> was December 2015. Yeah, okay. Ah, Join so us for hashtag Whiskey Wednesday for Whiskey Wednesday's college, Ladies' yeah. Night. Ladies drink free from 10 to 12. Free Shit. hookah for everyone, 10 to 12. Free <laughs> hookah. Good. Once have, you start that offering would not the hookah. During COVID. <laughs> at, a t at a time, Oasis was the hottest place in the, the world Mr. to go Mose to. Strain. Which was on the at other the, side, on the, the Johnny Rocket yeah. side. The yeah. time was when you weren't old enough to get into anything else. Yeah, exactly. That was the time. Exactly. That's everyone's time. That, exactly. Like, it's a timeless. It was like 2000. It was like 2009 to like 2000. 11 for you for me yeah mm. oasis was a banger but it was there were so many people there all the time 
Hmm. I wonder Oasis how many times. Like Winwood? No, in the Grove. Oh. It's a. It was just a hookah bar. It was a hookah bar yeah. like attached to it a hotel. It probably still yeah. exists. It is. Oh, it's, probably, it's probably called something else now. No, it's still Oasis. Still Oasis. I, yeah. no. I wonder how many times in life we've been in the same place mm. and not realized it because we didn't know each other. You mean like you Miami people? Yeah, like me just and in Billy. general. Because like I doubt we like I doubt we've been in the same place. That's, well, that's so you, actually, if, I, that's a lie. Super Bowl twenty twenty. Yeah, we were probably both there. Probably both at Radio Row. Yeah. Hmm. Did you go to the game? Yeah, I was at the game. Were you I in was, the ox I, box? Uh, or did you have a like press box seat? No, no, I was I was in the upper deck, and then I was on the field Just a, after you the had game. A ticket? No, th- that's where they sat. So me. you're in the ox box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. yeah. See, we we're probably right by each other. Same place, same time. Me and you, probably Didn't Mr. Mose, same time. That's what I'm saying. I was underage. You were aged. Clearly, Maybe. you were probably looking around being. <laughs> Clearly you were there legally. <laughs> yeah. Well, that place, that place. You would po- slide a five underneath. Yeah. Like, the policy, the policy there was like I would, be, I would have a five dollar bill underneath, and then I'd give the guy the ID like this. No, it's legitimately the business. Is they would say it. They'd like this is fake. Thank you. I'm taking this from you. If you want it back and you want to get in, just give me twenty dollars, yeah. and then they'd give it back to you. So they That's... just charge you a cover charge. Right. But then you you just got smart and would give them the money up front. Yeah. So that way you wouldn't have to be embarrassed by, hey, wait a second. This I never is... did that. I was always afraid of getting caught. What do you think this says? Totally unnecessary Glennon. Mm. <laughs> this is at a mean seat. But it looks like Dan's chicken scratch. Hmm. Huh. Glennon. Were we talking about Mike Glennon this week? No. No. Never. Jonathan Gannon? Gannon? Maybe? No, that's no. an L. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this game. What game? Jason's telling me they had a, one of those lobster things in Mr. Moe's where you can they did. pick your own lobster and if you win it, they cook it for you. Oh, they did. They also yeah. had... They Severely also had inhumane. Those. Yeah. They no. also had bull riding in the they, back. Yeah, the bull riding was sick. The, bull I remember the bull <laughs> riding. I remember the pool tables. Not very padded either, from what I remember. It was It was weird. Have they you basically ever a bull? Like Not a real bull? bull? No. Well, like, you know... A, a mechanical bull? One. One? That could mm. be a fun event for us to do if we go to... Like at a honky tonk? Fergus for the schmoop or small. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Huh. I feel like we could mm. do that there. You know what I want to do that yeah, I saw on Vanderpump Rules that they have there, and I don't know if they still have it there, is they have like... Wait, you, hold on. Where's there? Because I don't know what Vanderpump Rules uh, is. Uh, oh, gotcha. Is, Cheat on Ariana? No. Oh, is they God. have... I saw that on Vanderpump Rules. They oh, have shitty. like... Uh, you can drive like bulldozers and stuff. And just yes, in the move. desert. Yeah, yeah. You, Dude, can you can rent like a backhoe, there. Well, or, like know. an excavator. Well, maybe you can do anything there. There is a lot. Mike Fuentes told me that. I don't know. What did he tell you? That you can do anything in Vegas. For the right price. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> I mean, you could drive supercars. I don't know if I trust myself with one of those supercars on the track. I, those, they, those are super expensive to rent, though. I yeah. don't know what a yeah. supercar is. Like no, a like, a, like a Ford yeah. Hyundai. Yeah. 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 Is a so Hyundai a supercar? When Charlotte yeah. and I were in super saving. Super bought out, though. <laughs> for the Super Bowl, we did one of those like test track things. It was like a Porsche. Where was it? Right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's right next to the airport. In Atlanta? You could see it when you But we. You know who was covering the Super Bowl in Atlanta? We were at the same place, same See? time. But you didn't do that, though. No, I know, but, but I was we were Radio probably Row. Both at Radio Row. Yeah. I, we interviewed Travis Kelsey. It was like... Did you go to a CAA had, party? Had no. Yes, actually. Really? Yeah, I was there. Tim Tebow was there. He was playing all the arcade games but with his fiance. <laughs> Josh Allen was there. Was he really? Um, the young Josh Allen. Was there? Yeah. Mike Francesa was there when I got there. It was the very Rob Ryan moment. was there. That was my... Rob? I, I was like... How's the hair in person? It's incredible. I was like, oh my God. Charlotte and I actually went up to him and started talking to really? him. Really? Because we were like, he oh loved, my God. He must have like, loved that. We're... Like, we're amongst the stars right now. I want to find... Life a, will never be this good. I want to find a video that I was sent that I probably will not have on here it was the media party here in miami he went to the media the party one at the cruise yeah it was like thing? at the cruise i did thing. not go to that well i heard it was like I, katie nolan's birthday or something i didn't go uh i heard it was a total disaster because it was like an accident or whatever hmm. but there was people hmm. that were there that sent me videos of just rob ryan dancing like there was a live band uh, rob and ryan he went? was I sh- yeah he Damn. was i'm gonna ask him to out, find out. Your miss out shoot hmm do you actually have the video? Or I'm looking to see if I could. Somebody? I'm looking to see if I could it. find it. Yeah, but I'm just gonna. Those I'm media just show parties are always so funny. Like it's just you walk around and you just people watch all like the media people and the people you see on TV. Like Darren like, Ravel oh. just like walking around like being Darren Ravel. It is funny so to weird. see like on his phone checking the weather app. No, yeah. but it, it's. Also, I saw him at the mall. Did you go to the Mall of America? No, one? I didn't go to that one. See, that was that was a week that I would not want to redo. Hmm. Why? Because just in Minnesota, or? it was so cold. Everything was in the mall. It was just 
really unpleasant. Are things really general. connected by like underground passageways yeah, in those but kind that, of cities? That was like 30 minutes away. That was like downtown. We were literally in the Mall of America for like seven days. How straight. big is it? Like it's, it's so big. So like how many dolphin malls? Oh God. I How many Dayland malls? There's an amusement park. Charlotte rode a roller coaster with Travis Kelsey inside the mall. Right. It's humongous. There's six and a half lid stores, or at least there was. I don't think I've heard since that three of them closed. Sounds like heaven. Uh, the one on the second floor, yes. The other ones, sad. You don't need to go to. Really? Yeah. Had... There's one really solid one, and the rest, like, you don't really. I wrote a whole story about it. On on the lids. I went to all of the six and a half lidses, and I ranked them. I'm doing important work over there. Because there's just. The mall's so big. Like, there's a lids that's near you, and then you might not even see the other five and a half because it, they're on other wings. It's crazy. It's could, so big. Could AI fake writers write that story? You know what? SI. You know what? No, you they could what? not. And Maybe. the mall walker is something I wasn't expecting. You you get there at like seven. The mall opens at seven a.m., but the stores open at like eight a.m. And we would get there super early because we had to do like all the early radio stuff. And there'd be people just doing laps. Uh, Amin's yeah. nodding his head. He he gets it. I mean, people here? just doing laps around the mall. Been here the whole time. For hours what? until the mall opens. They're not shopping. No. They just need somewhere to walk, which is like I get it. It's like kind of just like a huge indoor track. Mm. You know what I just thought of? There is yeah. a chance, Billy. There's a high <laughs> probability that one Amino Hassan. Did you go to the aquarium? Was that party a Mr. Moe's in, in the Grove? I did go to the aquarium. Were you at the aquarium? I was. I was at the <laughs> you, I mean, have you, you ever been to Mr. Moe's in the Grove? I have. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Were you conflicted at the Sea Lion Show? Yes. I don't remember watching the Sea Lion Show. I, I mean, there, there's like, you got to go to the show. The whole like masses going to the, like, Actually, I'll follow I them do. in. Yes. And I remember I thinking, remember. am I allowed to take a picture of what I'm watching? I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. Because hmm. they're, they're so doing ta- tricks and stuff. But they were so Wait, talented. Wh- what do you, why can't you take a picture? Well, because... You because know, what? Some, morally, morally somebody's gonna go through your phone and do, be like, "Oh, Billy, you're you're can- canceled." <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. Also, what do you do with that video? Do you watch it again? Let me tell you something. What's I went the point to of all I, I went to just Sea World. To my girlfriend, like this is what I'm doing right now. Oh, I went to Sea World. I want to say like a month before they stopped doing the shows. Oh man, I knew like I was savoring. I went with my kid. <laughs> oh, and I was God. like, "Yo, th- n- we're you're the last generation." My kid was literally. Was like four. It's a, the tr- five years old. And a lie when they're in college. I saw the last. Yep, it was like literally like the last dolphin. I show. have I have I have one of those that like I, you guys will probably judge me for when they announced that no Ringling R- Ringling Brothers was closing. I went to the show when it was in Miami because I'm like I'm never gonna be able to see this again. Dude, what they have in there? Channing what? Crowder was there. What <laughs> in the circus? It was like two rows behind. What did they do there? I don't think I ever Watching went to the that. Uh, there was a lot. I mean, it was they like, had, like by, the lion and the hoop. And no, stuff? by that time they had phased out most of like the animal. Does like, the elephant act. step on that little like that I little chair? That, <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes. about? I think they were elephant free at the time, which ultimately so led what to their downfall. Yeah, it's like they, turns they, out they, that was the no, was like the they, they're like you know what, guys, we shouldn't do this with the animals, and then everyone just stopped going. Like, oh, we had to close up shop. So I don't know. I watched the person like on the spinning thing. I saw the motorcycles inside the sphere. Yeah. Oh, the case. Saw thing, tricks yeah. with fire and stuff. And the fire tricks. So another thing do. Charlotte and I did at SI, I've just been recounting all of our glory days, which I never finished my Porsche story, but I w- it's too late. One day. We're never going back Porsche to that. Porsche story? Yes. Um, we got her a like tryout with Disney on Ice. Like wow. we got her to do. She can ice skate? No. That's. <laughs> <laughs> That's that why it was a good the idea. Video. They dressed her up. They did like a whole thing. They were like, "Okay, this is what this is how we do all this stuff." It was pretty cool. I mean, they're incredibly gifted and athletic. Oh my gosh, is this Rob Ryan dancing at the? P- Dude, first of all, sad dance floor. Four people on. That's it. well, because that was the pr- I, that was my reaction. I was like, because there was, was a, there was a traffic accident. You said so that was at eight oh one p.m. So it's still kind of early. early. It's kind of early. Media but party, a late crowd. Do you no, go to like the media parties at like All Star and stuff like that? He hosts media parties on the company's <laughs> well, dime. I mean, like the official, like the ones that the league puts on. Oh yeah, I go to I go like me, media. Um, you look so great. God, I love that hair. They call it media hospitality. Yeah. So during the right. finals, for instance, every game day after the game, there's media hospitality at the media hotel, and it's just like free beer, free no, wine. No, okay, so that's not quite the same thing. What are you so talking for about? For like the Super Bowl, the NFL usually puts on a press party for oh. credentialed media, and it's like they do like a big I mean, dominate, no, dude. No, I, I, no, but here's the thing, NBA – we we ain't got that kind of money, so like, <laughs> sure. either that or because it's outsourced to private <laughs> private sources or <laughs> so private like party. Citibank throw a party for us. There's there's so many parties going on All Star Weekend. Like there mm. there would probably be no point 
for the NBA to no put on its own. It. No one would go. Like we're in Indy this year. Oh Lord, don't remind me. But it's the last year though, because next year it's Golden State. We all, all right. start in Indianapolis. Yes, yeah. it's in terrible. February. Yeah, it's, look, me and Amin have gone to Cleveland, dude. You guys have got <laughs> really bad cities. In but, we're fine, but this is it. The light at the end of the tunnel is here because it's we're Golden right State here. next year and the year after that. I don't know if I can break the news because it's not even out Wait, there. Yet. Really? Wow. Can we bleep it out, Fuentes? Yeah. You yeah. got to cover your mouth when you say it, though. But just what, don't bring it up after he says there, it. Tony? And then, yeah. What do you mean? What are you going for? I always go. He assumes he's yeah, going he's, all the I know, but for what? Last time we did a last time you went to babysit a mean. No, well, that, was two, that was two times. That ago. was two times he ago. He goes so he can show his new turtleneck and oh, that's you know, put right. a coat on. Same that's right. It was, it was freezing. My bad. Show. Hey, my bad. Yeah. It was 13 uh, degrees hey, outside. Look, I'm stylish. Uh, Talking a microphone that's not on. <laughs> that wasn't our fault, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the, the Dollar Shave Club? Yeah. Absolutely not our fault. I where's, where's, he did a kick-ass show, too. It was for awesome. A reason. Where is it? Oh. I'm going to bleep it out. Oh. Which is oh. like, oh, my God. Wow. I was like, I heard that, and I was like, we're back, baby. Like, <laughs> wow. We, we we, so we've back. gotten through the dark times of all these shitty all-star cities. Mm. We're finally back. Although some would argue that's a shitty all-star city. Well, no, I'm not saying I would argue Compared, Nobody's arguing Compared that. to where you've been? No. Nobody's <laughs> arguing that. We've gone through a lot. Yeah. I just am trying to ruffle your feathers. Huh. Billy, my have you ever been in unruffled. Independence, Ohio? <laughs> That's where me and I mean, were stationed at in the driving snow at four in the morning Dude. trying to get an Uber at Independence, Ohio. It's like you said, it's 13 degrees. <laughs> There's mounds of snow everywhere. <laughs> Like to the point where you know what, and when it snows so hard, where the city is like, "Fuck it," there's no. You guys po- figure it out. There's no point in cleaning these roads. <laughs> like you're just gonna have to wait until this shit is over, right? So that's how it was, hey and guys, then fucked. yeah, basically Sorry. trying to get an Uber is Market. literally an hour and a half wait. What this I use this to, that. to this day. I use, you know how how long it took to get an Uber. <laughs> it took so long that we saw Jake from State Farm <laughs> huddled in the corner of a of a restaurant. <laughs> Damn. That's how you. Jake from State Farm couldn't get a car. Yeah. That was bad. Clark gets one, though. I don't know. We also. They closed the bar that we were at at four in the morning, and then me and Amin stumble out. We're like, hey, we'll just get an Uber. No. Five in the morning, they finally pick us up. It's a long day. Hmm. Well, that sounds like an improvement, at least. Hmm. Where's where's the Super Bowl after Vegas? Is it? New Orleans, Orleans? right? I think I think I heard it was oh, New Orleans. Which They're I've hit never makers. Been Let me tell you something. Two banger cities. Right? The Super Bowl. Oh, they got like, it right. Planning committee. They got they it right. Hit makers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, Except for Minneapolis. I I'm sorry to people that live. But that was in a new that was Minnesota. a new stadium. New, thing. That, that, I, that's I why. I know why they did it there. I I completely understand their rationale. It didn't work. I'm no, sorry. It do, it's it not, not supposed. Work. Just you know what? It's not supposed to because they're smart. This is what they do. Eight for us, one for them. Yeah, Every, that's why I gave the NBA the plan. It's like this is what you do. You do it. This is the cycle. You go L.A., you go Phoenix, you go Houston, you go New Orleans, you go Orlando, Miami, and then I think there's one more Atlanta. I think I threw in there. And then I said that eighth year you go international. That ninth year you go cold weather city somewhere. But, some crappy but that, it and sounds then, like the NBA does, has done no. The right. NBA does this dumb thing. We're like Indiana, Charlotte, Salt Lake City. Like, See, with the NFL draft, I'm like, have it in the in the locations of all your teams. Like that's mm. fun. Give everyone like a rotate chance, right? it. Have that, it in the location of the number one pick every year. Ooh. That would be. Oh, sick. Kansas, it was in Kansas yeah. City last trade, year, and then right? they have to move it at the last. Ooh, year. Oh, that'd be great, oh. guys. Pack your bags. Oh, we're shutting this down. That would be over. so great. We're going to Carolina. <laughs> oh, oh, who, saw, to Chicago? who saw that coming? <laughs> That's a great, that a great bit. No, it's like when they had it at the Meadowlands, right? Like after that. Yeah. And then they did it. And like luckily it didn't snow that day and it wasn't terrible. But aren't, but aren't that, most but that was, of those, like those, those in Minnesota is just like, that's part of like the BS agreement. Like you get a new yeah, stadium, yeah. we'll give well, you a well, Super that's, Bowl. Yes. So that's what happened with. So they owe them one. That's so happened like, in Miami. Remember they had the, the rain, the Peyton Manning Super Bowl, and then Goodell's like, I'll never Yeah, they got back, punished for a right? little bit. And then the next year, everybody was freezing their ass off in New York. Because yeah. it's like, it's been like New York, Detroit, Indianapolis, Minnesota. Those are the cold weather Super Bowls ever. Like, I, I, whenever I bring up this point, people are like, every place deserves all-star. I said, yeah? You know how many times Chicago, a founding member of the NFL, has hosted the Super Bowl? Well, that's because they're stadiums. Well, the Super Bowl also used to only it rotated, like, between five places. Yeah, yeah. Like, Chicago, like, that's what you're Chicago supposed to do. If Chicago got yeah. a new stadium, like, in the suburbs where they're thinking of building it and it had a roof they and everything, not, they're going to get a, With a roof, maybe. Without a roof, they, they a roof. They cannot have they a Super Bowl at Soldier Field. It is a terrible field. It is a terrible stadium. It would be the a The grass is always brown. Traffic nightmare. <laughs> it's, brown. it's just, it's a disaster. It got always. delisted from like the historic 
registered. They can do that? I've never heard what? that. What? Yes, because they botched the renovation of Soldier oh. Field so poorly. Hmm. Because they, they, so like Soldier Field was a historic field on like the museum campus yeah. in Chicago where all these like the Field Museum and all yeah. these beautiful works of architecture were. And it had like this beautiful colonnade which was on the historic, you know, landmark register. And then they tried to fit the new stadium like inside of it without changing it. And it didn't, for whatever reason, it just like was a failure. Hmm. And everyone hates it, and everyone's always hated it. And now here we are, and the Bears are trying to move, but the city doesn't want them to, and it's a disaster. Disaster. It was delisted in 2006. There you go. <laughs> Damn, it's been a wow. long time then. Before yeah. they even got to the sewer, <laughs> almost it, 20 I years. I was telling Charlotte this because we were talking about the sphere earlier, and like I feel like if I went to the sphere, I would fall. Like I would fall over it's a very, banister. It's very steep, right? <laughs> it looks steep, and maybe it's not, but maybe no, I is. would get so dizzy. It looks steep. It is. Being yeah. surrounded by screens that I would just fall like over. They, no, they give you a warning when you walk in. Like oh, this really? is like incredibly steep. Yeah. Because you went really? Like yeah, I, they give you a warning. Did you see Wait, London said no? They wanted to build like a system. Sister sphere in London, oh, and yeah. like the mayor would ever like, like no. nope. Well, they don't, they, don't, they don't even like skyscrapers in Europe. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's <laughs> steep. <laughs> that's steep. That's, that's steep. What, yeah. <laughs> Whenever I see uh, like one of those viral videos Do of fans of like fighting today, in the yeah. stadium, I'm always like, how do these people not just tumble, tumble down sixty crazy. feet? Well, that's yeah. why I yeah. Soldier Field. Like when yeah. you go up to the upper deck of Soldier Field, like I've. That's the only stadium I've ever been in where I'm like, oh my god! Like you have to put all your weight on your heels. Yeah. <laughs> What's you get like so vertigo? <laughs> What's the worst stadium you've ever been in? Soldier Field. For real? Like <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yeah. uh, there's definitely worse. College the Orange Bowl. The Orange Bowl. The Orange Bowl. The Orange Bowl was so bad. It at was. The end. It was. Yeah. Like, like they, you would walk down the spirals with, a, with, with nothing. With creak. nothing but a what a, no, what, a they, spot, what a fence. A yeah, chain yeah, fence. Yeah. yeah. No. The oh. back. The back of the upper deck. The last had row nothing. had nothing. There was. No. There and was like a gap like this. There was an old like just metal railing, and then at some point they put like a chain link fence in yeah. front of like the row of seats in front of that and yeah. then the upper deck like railing on the front uh -huh. was just like a, a couple bar. a couple bars yeah. Yeah. that like you could easily fall under or 100%. over it wasn't super high like and at the end Bench they seating. they knew like <laughs> Well, we there's like two this. years left. Like, like really? fuck, gonna put anything into this? Like, you like piece of concrete would be falling Dude, when you walk through the tunnel. It was a was mess. Like you, you were dodging concrete. Yeah. Chunks no. Out of this when guy. I walked out of the last FIU game that was there because they had like a season that they played there when they were building their stadium. As we we're walking in a tunnel, like a piece of concrete <laughs> fell in the tunnel, and I'm like, "Yep." Please like, tell this. me you pretended it hit you and you fell on the ground, and we're like, "No, ah, I wish." Ah. No, I was a kid. People would have been like, "Get up." There's exactly no money, right. Bobby. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know anything you're gonna get out of what, this. Thing. What would have? What probably would have happened was a larger piece would have fallen on yeah. me as I was on the ground. So here's a drink coupon for Mr. I was Bill. at the. Uh, <laughs> I was at the last game, the the one that Miami lost 48 nothing the, to Virginia. That was oh, Virginia. Okay. That wasn't the last game. It was the last, was last game. game. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. I thought you played after that. Oh, they did. And they won. I was at the last Miami game. I was at I was at the last Miami game, and it was kind of sad because like people were ripping stuff out. Of I was the gonna stadium. ask if people were stealing things because yeah. that's what was happening at, at the game that I was at. Is people were stealing the seats. They stealing would like rip signs. off the seats. Yeah, yeah you had, had like a West whatever sign. Yeah, did that yeah. at Wrigley Field like decades decades ago in the eighties. They had uh they were they were like bleacher bums. Like my my parents went to like every game and sat in the bleachers. Bleachers are fun at Wrigley. So much fun. I need sunscreen though. Bleachers, 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 are, sunscreen bleachers though. are fun at any baseball stadium. Mm. No, you but go, the, there's something drunk. about Wrigley. Wrigley's got a bleachers hurt my butt. Vibe. Just the vibe of everyone being. They hurt my back. And now my back. Yeah. They hurt. Well, well if, there's there's no, like if there's no back, yeah. then they definitely hurt That's your back. That's what they are. The bleachers. No, no back. the ones, the metal ones, that hurt my butt, and then it's sweaty, and then you have like a liquid blanket thing going on. You're not cold. You're not hot. You feel good in the bleachers. Well, the when I went in June, there was the sun was like here, and there was no clouds in the sky, so we were just getting absolutely cooked. Yeah. But we had a lot of Miller Lights. Well, someone broke. There you go. Ninety six calories. And then we made uh, one of those, what's it called? Yeah, cup snakes. One of those cup snakes, snakes, dude. And then the security guard broke it. Yeah, they don't like them there. They don't like them anywhere. Hey, buddy, how about, don't worry about it. Yeah, huh. it's baseball. How about what's your problem? Yeah, it's baseball. How what's about, the what's the cup snake going to do to you? Problem. How about yeah. that? What's your problem? What's the like, safety issue there? Yeah, exactly. exactly. That is like, a good point. What's the safety issue? So the issue? seat yeah. broke, and my dad and his friend took it. Like, they smuggled it out of the stadium. How do you smuggle a seat out? They put it, like, under their, like coats and walked oh. out of the stadium with the seat broken at a right angle did they yes walk out like they like shuffled out and then like, they got my back they got on the l and they had this seat from wrigley field ah, the l. we have it in our basement still it's my, my dad's like good luck like during the 2016 run he brought it everywhere with him and <laughs> he brought a seat it's like during, an attraction yes yeah, like it's seat. like a wooden plank with the seat number and during the world series game seven when the cubs were losing obviously um 
he like threw it on the floor and like part of it splintered oh, off no. and it was like a disaster. <laughs> but then they ended up winning and like he put it back, he repaired it. And now it's still hanging there. It's oh, like you can't thing. you can't repair it. No, yeah, the, no, the splinter the splinter broken. won the title. The splinter yeah. has yeah. to be framed oh, by itself. It needs its own yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> wow, your dad. But some guy was on the L with my dad and his friend who had the other seat, and it ended up being like a St. Louis Cardinals reporter, and so he ended up in a book. Him and his hmm. bleacher seat. Huh. Wow. Called yeah. bleachers. One of my regrets in life is when they like read to, and it's it's ridiculous because <laughs> it's not, you with the uh, hard network out. It's not a historic no. thing, but but like when, like cook. when they uh, when they the redid the seats at Sun Life Stadium, Hard Rock Pro Player, whatever, right? Hard Rock Stadium. <laughs> they were all like the orange seats. They took them all out. They put all the like new blue ones or whatever. They sold all of the seats. Like you could mm -hmm. go and you can buy the seat backs, but you could also buy individual seats like mm -hmm. with a stand that you could like put somewhere yeah yeah and i didn't buy one and i regret it because i really? feel like it'd be a cool thing to yeah, have but your house it's is not, not a sports bar i've been i've been to people's houses where they have like these are from yankee stadium yeah. and they're too they're always uncomfortable they're always really <laughs> small i'm like yeah. how do people fit in these and you so know i shouldn't regret it no, no. okay so you spent 500 bucks on some shit that you weren't gonna use i, I have a and question that your wife is gonna be really upset about specifically for you billy you know how people say that like because the seats at hard rock are teal you can tell very easily when there's not a lot of well you Miami have, yeah, fans yeah, yeah. there yeah do you do you believe that or do you think that that's just them trying to like you know make themselves sound like they actually have fans there I mean, it's, it, when you're wearing orange and the seats are blue, you can see clear yeah, as day when the there. seats are empty. Also, the heat arena. Has I think red I honestly you think can never tell. Like you, you that, always can tell. Well, there's so that there. that teal, I think it, I could be wrong, but like because it's the Dolphin Stadium yep. that hides when Dolphin Dolphins games fans, are empty. Yeah. That's why Does it's that teal. A lot? So so the heat. The AAA originally it that was red awesome. and orange. bright ass yellow, yeah, yeah, not yeah. orange, bright ass. Yeah, yellow. the front that thing with and it was blinding. And then what happened was those. Well, you can tell the story. Is that when the soul were playing there? No, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like the first the season. First, the first yeah. season, like but 04. then because it looked like a flame is is what the it was, idea was. Exactly, it was supposed to look like a flame and be really cool, except for the fact because people either don't show up or show up late to games. Mm. It was so clear. That it was empty because you just see these yellow seats. Yeah. So that's why they changed it to this orange that's co closer to that red because it is less apparent to the TV viewer mm. when no one's there. You can definitely tell. I saw there was, even in the third quarter, there was still a lot of empty seats there behind Yesterday? The, yeah. D to, or Tuesday night, excuse me. I'm going to tell you right well now. <laughs> By Got to beat that too. <laughs> Tuesday night? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tuesday night. Tuesday, During the I'm IST? telling you. Mm -hmm. like, this is what it used to look like. Oh man! Yeah, they should. So the yellow is like really, really yeah. obvious yeah. because that's like the expensive seat. So that's where everyone is late to all the time. So it's right. so bad. When on the, TV. when Hard Rock like eventually repaints or whatever when they need a new paint job, they should paint shirts like onto the seat oh, so God. it looks like there's or like jersey numbers. So, like, yeah. Yes. Some stadiums, like I think the Sun, the uh, Spurs have this where it's like dark gray are the seats, but then random ones will be pink. Orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's supposed to... They have, like, a teal oh, one. Oh, is that why they do that? Trixie. It's supposed to mimic, oh. yeah, like, if no one's sitting, it looks like there's people sitting. But, no, but 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 Tuesday night's game, by the middle of the third quarter, it was fat. Like, so I couldn't figure out whether people just got there super-duper late <laughs> or, or, or maybe they were all in clubs and then they came out when they realized, oh, the Heat actually have a chance to win this game. But it was packed, middle of the third, first half. Yeah, I was like, man, Empty. ain't nobody here. <laughs> I was looking at some stuff. I was like, "Ooh, big chunk of row 127 is not there." So, Tony, yeah, what's your favorite Seinfeld episode of all time? You're a big Seinfeld. Wow, fan. Uh, it's, an impossible. This uh, is impossible. it's a hard question. It's, it's a really hard question, question, but I love the limo. <laughs> is that the one where they think he's like a communist? No, Nazi. they think he's the, no oh, the, head, Nazi, the lead yeah. of the Nazi party. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes to Madison Square Garden. Go, and there's Bulls a protest. Knicks, it's Bulls Knicks. Bulls is Knicks, the game right? they're going to. That's yeah. when Kramer's like, have you seen Michael Jordan? He does yeah. these windmills. <laughs> then he falls into the trash. That's probably one of my favorite episodes. Um, damn, there's so many, man. Uh, I love the Kenny Rogers roast chicken. Yeah, That one got memed a lot with the Heat's... Um, Court in league in tournament. How, what does it look like? Yeah, because, what does you know, it look like in light, person? And it was a red court. Seinfeld. Is it no? <laughs> it's a couple guys. A chick. She's doing it. Yeah, it's a, it's a comedy about friends. What does the York court City. look like in person? Is it is it as bad it's as it looks a, like on TV? No, it, it, in person it's actually quite pleasant. On TV, it's on TV, it looks blinding. It blares my eyes. Yeah, that's what everyone. It terrible. hurts. And that's why everybody would do the meme of. Uh, Kramer getting blasted with the yeah. red light because it's like, oh, the heat season tournament's like, on. 
But who did who decided that? That the league came so, up with like four color schemes, right? Because so the, they're they're pretty much very similar. The league in July said, "Oh, you know what? We need to let people know when they turn on the TV what that this different. is different." Right. And so there they, there wasn't enough time for people to think of actual court designs and go through testing and all that. They just said, "All right, this is the court design." Pick a color scheme that's not like tan wood, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so some teams pick black, some teams pick blue. The heat. What's the most unnerving one for you? I think Chicago's is bad. What? Which ones is theirs? There's the. I know Toronto's is the black, which is really nice. Yeah, the black ones look the best. Yeah. The gray yeah. ones aren't bad either. The Bucks one looks good because it's very close to like a natural. Regular, wood no, the, color. I think it's the Oklahoma City one, really blue, and it's, I think the Minnesota one were a little weird. Yeah, there's the, a really yeah. yellow one, right? Is there really Indiana, yellow? maybe? Indiana, it's yeah, because really their jersey's horrendous, too. Yeah. And then the Knicks have this bright orange. I don't like the double font New York. It's weird. No, yeah, the 3D. I hate you can tell, like, Ronnie Feig did that. It looks like, <laughs> yeah, uh, like, you can just tell. It looks like it looks like you're supposed to be wearing 3D glasses. You ever been to a 3D movie and took the glasses off yeah, and tried yeah. to look at the screen? <laughs> and it's all, like, you know, multiple images or whatever? Man, that's a gimmick that never really took off. I miss it. Dude, dude, do you remember oh. the 3D TVs? They were like, mm-hmm. that was the thing. Dude, it was, and it was like five grand and then 1500 for the glasses. For the glasses, yeah. exactly. You five had, grand. Yeah. You wish, dude. I don't, I, I don't remember. Like, it was like crazy like amount of money. They were like eight to ten grand. They were super expensive. Yeah. No, that that is ESPN 3D. Remember they were yeah. doing games yeah. in 3D. They, they had the World Cup supposed to be in 3D. That was like the big selling point. That's insane that they yeah. d- like convinced the world, yo, this is the future. <laughs> well, but like, the, <laughs> never mind. The thing that's insane <laughs> is that they did that like 30 years after the invention of 3D, of 3D. as yeah. like a gimmick. It's yeah. like you know what? What if people? What if everything was 3D in the year 2017? Really buy it on 3D televisions. That. I'm going to tell you what, Billy, what's worse is you ever buy tickets to movies? Because nowadays the movies, it's reserved seating. It's not like it used to be. You buy tickets, you just sit with everyone. Yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. assigned seating, right? So you're like, like a J7. Yeah. And then the guy always complains like, hey, buddy, you're in my seat. I'm like, oh, really? My bad. It's one over. Sorry. Oh, you, but, you're the guy that no, I like no, that. assigned no, but like, seats. I like, you I like sit that, in the wrong though. seat. No, still. but like, if I'm sitting down, I'm not you're realizing. The worst. Here's the problem. So right? fuck, so fuck that seat. guy because you sat in the wrong exactly seat. Exactly right. Because you decided to not sit in You decided to have the wrong seat. So now he's the jerk. Get out of here. Here, Buddy, man. there's one right next to me. You got you got J you got J six. No, and then, you and throw and then the everybody next guy off. comes, and the next guy comes. It's like you, you are the worst. <laughs> you know, but here's the problem, right? You're like, I really want to go see this movie. Oh man, it keeps all I get is like front row seats for all these. I don't want to watch it. And then finally, he's like, oh, this is great. These are perfect seats. And then you go and you show up. And it's like, oh, this is the 3D version. <laughs> oh my god. I, but, but even even if the picture of 3D was good, right, and it was something you wanted to see, who the hell wants to sit in their own house wearing glasses to watch their own damn TV? Nerds. I, I guess. Yeah, nerds. Can like, I tell you something I've been wanting to do along it. those? I've been wanting to get like the headphones for the TV. But, you, it, but it makes sense for you. It is so loud in my house <laughs> all the time. There's Dude, just like always dogs headphones. or children or something Billy. making noise. I just want to put headphones on. Zone and out. I even wanted to ask, like, people ask me, like, oh, what do you want for the holidays or whatever? And I, I didn't ask Santa for. Him? I feel like I invented this. I, I thought that there was such a thing as noise canceling headphones, but not noise canceling headphones that I could hear something. Just noise canceling headphones that could make me deaf, where I just put them on and could not hear anything around me. No, but I want to hear nothing. Hmm. Like I want it to be like if I'm in solitary confinement, which at times seems like not that bad. Alone, I'm t- alone with that's my theory. Huh? That's if I ever go to prison. Send me to solitary. And it was like, what? I'm like, why would I want to be around other people? Especially guys that are like, can't well, wait to why do I want to be around other people? <laughs> exactly. I mean, like they're my be, friends or something. <laughs> you would be in, absolutely insane. I'm, no. I'm telling you right you, now. You would be reciting like every word from every I I like Always Sunny episode every 30 like, years. No, without what, 30 <laughs> years, not a 30 chance. years in solitary. I 30 what? years in solitary is not a do chance. Do what? Are you, I don't think you could do three weeks in solitary. Uh, do you guys, three weeks? Do you, uh, th- three weeks? Do a, three weeks do a day. A, okay, but he says 30 a years. Day? Three day? Are you doing a day? I, I think I could do a day because I talk to myself all the time. You, so what do you guys talk about talking to yourselves? Yeah. You know what I would do? You know what I'd do, honestly? It's real, it's real easy. Jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> That's... 
Okay. You know, but, okay. But that's how you pass the time. Okay. Sure. Sure. And then push ups. And then, like. Push ups, I feel like you can do more. Are you allowed to have books in solitary? Can you have a watch? Can you have a watch? To be clear, no, I'm not talking. I'm not so talking I'll about. I'll never know the time. That's tough. That's the problem. No, no, no. To be clear, I'm not talking about the hole, right? Where you got to go and you sit down on the ground and you, you're naked. Or, no, I'm not talking about that. You're a room with no roommates. Yes. The room with no roommates? Dog, I, but padded walls with a bed. No, wait, no, bed. no, no. Wait, hold on a second. I, we're talking about different things. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, I think, I think that you're talking about like a one person suite in a jail where you get out from well, time no, to time. No, no, I don't want to get out. That, that's you the thing. don't. No, I don't want to get out. You do not want 23 <laughs> hour you lockdown. Never bro. want you outdoors time. Want, no, no, dude, no. I gotta what? see other inmates. Hell no. Hmm. I, I, I'll put it on everything. Set it up. You said three weeks. I know, Set it said up. Weeks. I said one day. Set this up with who? I don't know. San Quentin. And how? <laughs> so okay. So let's I'll say there's. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying if there's someone that runs a prison right now that listens to the show, that listens to the show or watches on the DraftKings network, you yes. have a, war a lot of wardens listening to the show. Reaches out. No, mm -hmm. it could be anyone in the prison system. Maybe it's just a CEO. They reach out and they say, you know what? We'll hook a meet up with how long? You guys said, what's the time limit? I said three weeks. That's a long time. You, that is a, that's a long you time. Th you thought I couldn't do a day? A day? Are you kidding? Okay. I, I, you know, said, I started with 30 years. I was, like, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You started, like, you started a ridiculous amount of time. I'm, that was under the assumption that I'm going to prison. Three days. Let's do three days. I could do three days. Easy. So, okay. I think a month is when it starts getting like... If, a month? That's yeah. crazy, man. Dude, a month a, is where it starts getting hard? Dude, a week, Three days is a I long think, time. One day is a long time. Billy. You ever wanted to take a nap, but like literally the world won't let you? They keep bothering you? Yeah. Yeah, he has two kids and dogs. Exactly. Yeah. Three Imagine days, in three days, you would. Uh, it would it's, Just by yourself. You'd want to go back. By the time you got out and went back home, you'd be like, oh, man. I so miss solitary. You prison wardens, you'd be like Shawshank. Prison wardens, <laughs> prison, any type of employees. If, if, if you could somehow set this up, if three there's days, vacancy, even though I think days, the prisons are right? like. No, we'll do a week. We'll do like, we'll so do like Mr. Beast. Vacant. We'll do like Mr. Beast in the coffin. We'll do a week. You, a week, that's I could do that's it. one thing I would never do. A Subs, coffin, the coffin. The yeah. Yeah. Did you see him crazy. do it? I really want I, I, someone from a prison to like offer this up. Offer this no, up. A week, no problem. That's and insane. by the way, no phone. You can keep my phone. No, yeah, no, there is no. Oh, no yeah, phone. if the phone, took, then yeah, I'll be well, there for yeah, a month. Easy. Phone, yeah, <laughs> you're not <laughs> What's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd be in there the way anyone else. Is. Dude, I'd be. You wouldn't have snacks. I would come out perfect shape. More the push ups wow. and sit ups I'd be doing. In three days, you come out in perfect shape. You're gonna all Whoa. of a sudden. No, all of a sudden this is the 30 year plan. You're, you're, all of a sudden, you're in there and you you became your own personal trainer. And you know exactly what style. to do to make all this All you gotta work. do is a thousand push ups, a thousand sit ups a day. It's yep. a Herschel Walker. Squats. Day. Do some squats too. Body weight, yep. Yep. I have wondered sometimes. Yoga. I've yeah. wondered sometimes what if, you know, I did shadow boxing like two days ago and I am so sore. <laughs> you got, you so got your ass whipped by your shadow? Yeah, I, almost, I was telling Tony, I almost punched my TV because what happened was is that I was doing so it. Good. Okay, I have a Peloton, but like I don't have a massive mansion. So I have it like in the corner of the bedroom, right? But the baby, the newborn, is mm -hmm. still like there, right? So I can't go in there and make noise and have a like no. bright screen illuminating the entire room. So if I miss like a very tiny window, I have to figure other things out. So I, like on the Peloton app, there's different classes. There's like yoga, there's stretching, there's all these different things. And so I think that it was, I think some, I think it was Coogs was looking and asking if Taylor was shadow boxing in the office a couple of days ago. <laughs> So I was like, was you know Shadow what? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. It was is an accusation that was me? thrown out there. Oh, so what I did was I started looking. I'm like, there's boxing classes. And I saw that there's a shadow boxing class. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I can't go and ride the bike, but I want to do something to exercise. So I'm like, I'll take this class. It's like an introductory 20-minute class or whatever. So I'm in the front of the house, like mm -hmm. in front of the TV. And in front of the TV, we have like a like rubber like play mat mm -hmm. for like the kids to play on. So I'm standing on that because I'm barefoot. So I'm not like killing yeah. my feet on the tile. And I'm just like, whoo, whoo, whoo. And I'm doing like all the different combinations. And I'm like getting after because I'm like, I'm going to, this is 20 minutes. Like I'm going to go, go hard. hard. I'm yeah. going to go hard in these 20 minutes introductory shadow boxing Peloton class. So I'm doing like the, the ducks and I'm doing like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing like all the moves, right? And while I'm doing it, like my shoulder is like killing me, and I'm like, oh my god! How much force are you putting That's behind the thing, these punches? Putting a lot of force. I'm putting some force into this. Wow. I'm like, I'm gonna, I, dude. I'm sore two days later because of the force that I was putting in, and I, I, it was so much force that when I started, I'm at the back of the mat, and I look down, and I'm still at the back of the mat, and I'm like, man, I'm really close to this TV. Like I'm coming, like. <laughs> 
close to punching my TV with some of these things, right? I know I'm a little wobbly because I'm like going way too hard on this. <laughs> and then I look down, I realize the mat is crooked. Like I've shifted oh. the mat. So I was probably like two reps away from punching my television. <laughs> Just giving a good <laughs> 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 so, Oh my God. Really? Broke his computer I know, it almost broke the mat. Yeah. <laughs> Fulfilling the prophecy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Shadow hurt. boxing! Yeah. Um, I Feel was... great though. <laughs> Besides the soreness. <laughs> Have you guys seen that little ball that's on a string that connects to like a headband that people yeah, punch? Yeah, yeah, So I was at Lewis's brother's house the other day, and he, he bought one. So we put it on. And, dude, I was doing it. Obviously, it's not easy, as the people on, yeah. on Instagram make it seem. But it gets pretty addicting. You're just sitting there like, do, 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 do. my wife is talking to him. And I'm like, yeah, baby. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like not paying attention, just hitting a little thing. <laughs> That's like the kind of th- like the donkey with the stick, right? You put a little carrot. And yeah, dangle yeah. It right it's there. like, guys, I'm almost getting this. <laughs> Don't bother me. So you're going to go into jail and all of a sudden you're going to know how to train yourself well, for all of these classes. It'd be like Kai Sinat. I mean, uh, how hard, how hard if it's, is it? See, but like well, Kai Sinat, first of all, that's, that's that fake. Was, it was, yeah. Well, it number was one completely is fake. fake. But number two, also, <laughs> if it was real, that's exactly what I don't. I don't want to interact with people. Like, if I don't understand how people are like, oh my God, a week by yourself. Like, what do you, what do you, how much do you want to talk to people on a day to day basis? But I think it's a difference between like, I'm a week by myself on vacation. I'm going to like relax and being locked in a, Concrete cell for twenty three hours. I have it being How's dark. That? I don't know why. Yeah, even might, better with like a little be. tiny window. Do you, do you Not know, even a window. I can sleep. Dark. I can make myself sleep hmm. right now. I could fall asleep right here. Do it. Do, do it, it, do it, it right now. I've done it before. Right you, guys right before. you guys have seen me back do it at, before remember? the end of the segment. How do you do yeah. it? Can you what, fall asleep? walk me through? Because I would love to learn how to put myself asleep. Honestly, this is what it comes down to, right? You find first of all, you got to find a position where you got you're not going to be moving a lot, right? I never was able to fall asleep in school. Really? In classes, never. Oh man, it's because I was a nerd too, and I was afraid of the repercussions. 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 Reper. Reaper? Reaper. No, people Reaper. say repercussions also. Really? Anyway, yeah, so you right. so people. you could you could oh, yeah. find the right position and yeah. just put Fancy yourself that. to sleep. Yeah, and, and basically what what I imagine is kind of weird. It's I just imagine myself retreating inside, almost like what I see right now is a window, hmm. and now the inside me walks away from the window that is my face. Like just keeps going backward and backward and backward and like you're going uh, like you're walking backwards from a door of your own consciousness. Yes, but exactly. you don't see you. Like it's not an outer body experience. I, no, it's no, his own eyes. It's, 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 it's yeah. what his vision is now. It's like your own. And he's just backing up. Point of view. Yes, yeah. I, I'm backing up within myself. From a window. From yeah, the, the window is the my, window of his soul right yeah. here, his eyes. Yep. Yep. So do you look at one thing like before you start? No, I just no. It's a my, mental thing. So he closes his eyes, eyes and then yeah. imagines himself going back. I know, back but back. imagine like that's what I'm asking. Is there a focal point that you're imagining yourself moving back from? So it's getting more and more distant as you go further and further it back. Just, it just melts away. Hmm. It just melts away. You. And what? You come, how long does this process take you? I don't know. Because I sleep. Because I just knock out. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. sometimes I feel like whoa, I was asleep for a while and it was like literally five minutes. I don't know if I believe this. And then sometimes. Uh, you know, it takes like that. That good sleep time is crazy. Oh like how God. when you're really, really tired, it feels like sixty seconds. It's been three and a half. You hours. know what yeah. I hate? Yeah. When I fall asleep, I pass out and get good sleep on the couch, and then I have to wake up or I get woken up. Yeah. It's like time to go to bed. And you it's wish like, you're by yourself. Just I, please leave me. I here. hate being woken. I'm like, you'd be like, you don't look comfortable. Like, trust me, I was. If how, I was that, that, that I don't get. Let me sleep. How do you know I'm that? Comfortable. Yeah, I'm completely knocked out. I'm obviously. Super comfortable. So why are you going to come bother me? Or just comfortable yeah. enough. Yeah, exactly. If I'm uncomfortable, I'll wake up. And then I'll go and to then bed. And then I'll go to bed. Yeah. Exactly. Th- thank you. I, I, I hate that. You don't look comfortable. How could you possibly know if I'm comfortable? Or not? <laughs> How could you possibly know? I don't look comfortable. What, kind of, <laughs> what does that mean? What kind of logic is that? <laughs> exactly. I'm knocked out. I don't think I can be more comfortable. I had to sleep on the couch the last couple nights. Uh-oh. Uh, what'd Trouble you in paradise. What'd you do, buddy? <laughs> Uh-oh. Man's in the doghouse. No, so I've been, I've been having like this... Just a, a lot of sinus issues, nah. right? Nah, COVID, huh? you know. COVID again? No, nah, not COVID. <laughs> Sinusitis. Seventh time he's got it. He, he got it. Well, he got it to Cleveland, right? I'm no, it was Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I went to Milwaukee. Yeah. And you bad, got it in Milwaukee. Bunny. Yeah, that was my first time. And Bad Bunny yeah. Yeah, a year later. Anyways, more importantly, and I think a couple times throughout, but more importantly, <laughs> I've been having some sinusitis issues. I don't know if it's, you know, whatever, my sinuses. I probably need to go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, but not the point. 
The point is, uh, I've been, yeah, oh. I've been snoring a lot. So that's what it's doing. And obviously, you guys know that I stopped my snoring because I told myself, just breathe through your nose. What? I, this is the first I'm hearing this. No, you I'm cured your, I, I am you sitting cured here. your own snoring. No, I'm yeah, sitting I helped Chris Cody beat this is his insanity. snoring. I am sitting here with you superhumans. People are not real. I, people. I have a guy who can put himself to sleep at You're any moment. You're not real. And then I have another guy who Chris just Cody tells right himself, now. don't breathe. Call Kyle. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call him right now. Call it Kyle. Can you call him? Call Cody? Yeah. You. This is not real. You this believe is that you've cured this snoring is by simply telling yourself you could cure your snoring? Dude, I'm telling you. I went from you're, not snoring. You're not a real person. I went from not snoring, excuse me, from snoring to not snoring by just breathing through my nose. And then I told Chris, yo, just tell yourself I'm going to breathe through your no through my nose, and it works. Oh, I'm calling him. Yo. Hey, Kyle. Hey. Hey. Um, we're doing mystery crate right now, and Tony's trying to convince us that he just told himself not to breathe out of his mouth anymore when he sleeps, and then he said to call you for confirmation. Yeah, that kind of did work. How, how, but how, okay, first, but Billy says it's ridiculous, but how would you know if it worked or not? Like, did you also? Well, no, because just... it worked for me. He, like, he he said it to me. I thought he was ridiculous, and then I went home and went to sleep and like did this like breathing right before bed, and I. I was like much clearer than I was the night before. What breathing did you do before? What, you go what to breathing bed? did you do before? Nose breathing, clearly. Just nose breathing. It was just, it was just like almost like meditation, just like in like Ask him what Chris in and said. out, in and out. Tony knows. And that yeah, yeah, I, we know Tony knows. He's really proud this of it. What ridiculous. what did your wife say? What do you mean? What did she say? I don't know. That's what Tony that asked. She me. didn't snore that, as that much. She didn't. That you that didn't snore, didn't snore, snore as, much. as much. Yeah, like that that because I had been snoring really bad and and. I definitely stopped. She was like, yeah, no, no problem last night. Yeah, and thanks for throwing Bam. me under the bus in that meeting, by the way. It was really funny. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> he was like, uh, when does uh, I need to say before we wrap up? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Kyle. We'll talk to you later. Classic. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> you know that I was I was snoring, and I, I had to go to an ENT. I didn't have to. But What's that stand for? Ear, nose, and throat oh, okay. doctor. Oh, got it. Yeah, okay. so I went there, and uh, and they told me, like, they basically said, like, we can, you don't have sleep apnea, which I was – Kind of secretly hoping I did, so I'd get one of those. What, what, yeah, no, machine, no, I wanted the, one of those machines. Dude, man. You just buy a machine. No, I've heard of, no, you don't want to sleep just, at you don't want to sleep after your machine. Why you not? You gotta clean it. You gotta clean it. I've been talking it it about it, how great it no, is. No, it gets a ton of bacteria in yeah. the tube. You don't want it. It's a lot of upkeep. Like yeah. if it was just put on the mask, go to sleep, it'd be cool. But no, and then and then like you're going city to city with your family. You're carrying this fucking bag that just has all these tubes in it. Like why would you want that? I mean, I wanted it. Not to mention that if you forget it, you can die. This like no, you're not gonna die. But also that's how pimps see. Died. Well, hold on, hold on. I, I, just, died I want to point something out. In the seventies, there was no such thing as sleep apnea. I'm, how did, I'm glad you brought this here. Like, oh, how boy, did this here happen? No, but I'm just saying, how did it? Ha all of a sudden, people now we have these slept. machines everywhere. I was, yeah. People I, just slept, and some people slept poorly. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was devising a top five. And if you did, of, you were an alcoholic. Yeah. You just I, drank. Like, I was, I, I, I was devising a, a top five. Pimp C of, died of a drug overdose. <laughs> no, no, that's according crazy. to the internet. That's no crazy. No do way. not do that to my boy. It's why was he on, right here? Why was he on drugs? Because sleep apnea. Well, okay, it says. Okay, here's what it says. Coroner's report attributing his death to. Complications stemming from heavy consumption of purple drink oh. and his pre-existing condition of sleep apnea. Nah. <laughs> I like if you go. Google Pimp C cause of death, it just says drug overdose. I like cor the Rest corner in, That's the in his report say. officially saying purple drink. Purple drink is, of purple drink. <laughs> it's written just like that. <laughs> but drank with an a. But I was I was coming up with the top five uh -huh. of all, things that all of a sudden matter. <laughs> Sle sleep apnea is one. Number two, gluten. Gluten wasn't I, a thing. I'd never heard of it. Yeah, exactly. I had yeah. never heard, heard of, of gluten for shout, all my life. Shout out to shout out to my homegirl Meredith Painter who hooked us up with yeah, the Cleveland. All the everything we did in Cleveland was because she was working for the tourism board there. Meredith Painter was the first time I'd ever heard of the, the word gluten. She, really? She's, she has a gluten allergy, and I'm like, "What do you mean?" And she's like, "Well, I'm allergic to gluten." I said, like, "What the hell is gluten?" Exactly. I, I didn't know. And and so she was like, she's, "Bread and pizza," and I'm like, "Really? Isn't that like a staple <laughs> stuff I eat all the time?" <laughs> Here's the thing. The food pyramid was bullshit. Oh, total, right. bullshit. Like, total bullshit. I'm following this pyramid that now it, you there's X's oh, on absolutely dude. everything on this pyramid that I was supposed to be eating before. We're not supposed to be eating uh, dairy and drinking milk. We're at not all. supposed to be doing are, you, are, you, are you ready? The pyramid was a pyramid Atta scheme. Boy. Oh. Atta boy. So the reason I bring up the ear, nose, and throat thing, snoring thing with Chris Cody was because I was snoring so bad because I couldn't breathe through my nose mm -hmm. that I was breathing through my mouth. And my wife was like, dude, you're snoring so loud. So I got up all my stuff in the middle of the night, went and slept on the couch, slept on the couch for three straight days. 
just so she can get some rest. Because if I so, how has this ended? Are you are you guys getting a divorce or no? She she actually said before (laughs) she went to bed, she's like, it feels like we're separated, and you're like looking for a new place, and you're sleeping on the couch. Yeah, and I was like, is that what's happening? No, it's not. (laughs) We're still very much in love. Do, Do you have? Have you tried strips? Yeah, I've been thinking about that no, too. Is getting the nasal strips, strips yeah. but I don't no, know. I haven't tried. Remember, it NFL players used to wear them all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah like an extra air in there. Booker T used to wear it when he was wrestling with Harlem Heat. And then he had like the the flame one on his nose. It's pretty cool. What does it do though? It's supposed it's, to like. I guess it lifts up. Open your slightly. I think it opens yeah. your nasal passage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. When I went to the ENT, they're like, "You don't have sleep apnea. This is just kind of like something caused by blah blah, blah whatever it was. I don't remember." And they're like, "We can go in there with lasers and shave the inside of your nasal cavity." I'm like, oh, yeah. "No, thank you. Michael, I will be snoring." My cunhal had that. It seems completely unnecessary. And I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm I'm going to snore. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Snoring is a very dangerous thing. What are you guys talking about over there? No, this just reminds me of Amin's take where he didn't want to get laser eye surgery because he's scared the lasers are going to go right through the back of his head. <laughs> I'm with you. LASIK is not for me. I'm kind of no, intrigued, thank though. you. I'm terrified. Nah, I I'm want good. it, but I'm terrified. I, I feel like I need it. It's, I think, it, it's I think, really quick. I think Mike had it, and he complains no, about like the headaches no, and stuff that he gets. Girlfriend, girlfriend got it. No, not you, Mike. Oh. Mike, oh, Ryan. Mike Ryan. Oh. Yeah, and, and sometimes he'll complain about like vision and say it's his headaches. Yeah, she. Well, she says that she would get headaches sometimes, and that her eyes would get blurry, but that's just her eyes are really dry, so she'd hit it with oh, a few okay. drops well, and she'd be good. Yeah. Sounds totally worth it. I mean, no more glasses. Dude, it's crazy. Like, we wake up in the morning, and I used to be across the room like, hey, check this out. And she used to be like, you know, I can't see that shit. But now wow, but now geez. I do it, and she just goes, oh, yeah. And it blows my oh, mind. I it's like you, 30 I, feet away. I'm like, wow, you're a sniper now. That's I thought crazy. you were going to say, now I'll just be texting like, what's Tony talking about? Tell Tony I didn't say that at all. <laughs>